Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of Love & Hip Hop Miami Season 4, Episode 7. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady C. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you're returning, you one of my people, well, welcome back. So we have one comment from last week, and it came from Miala Oil on YouTube. Great combination video. Oh, thank you, boo. I love when you say Pandora. You know, I'm I'm trying to be careful over here in these YouTube streets. It's not to say the word that we are living through right now. So I thought, you know, Pandora would be, you know, a better. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say we in a Pandora. Yeah. Y'all, Sheila decides she needs time for herself. She needs to date herself. She's feeling like she's been undermined and gaslit by Ace. So she decides she's going to hit the road. So she done got in her car. She then went to Orlando. And she is just going to date herself. Get back to dating herself. Get back to making herself feel good. And, and not depending on a man to make her feel good. And I was like, I understand that. Not so much as, you know, just skipping town like that. But, you know, love me. And not expect you to love me like I need to be loved. I'm going to love me like I know how I need to be loved. I was like, okay. I get you on that one. I, I, I know how I like to be loved. So I'm going to date myself. I'm going to go here. I mean, I wouldn't do that. But I understand the concept. Okay, I want to Okay, go on a nice little date. You know, go on a little shopping spree. Make myself feel good, you know, paying for myself. I understand all of that. We move it over to Suki and her manager, her role manager. And I am for the life of me trying to figure out, is this hairstyle that he has, is this a choice or is this a receding hairline? Because it looks like it is like, you know, bald in the front and just in the back is just like a hunk of hair. Now, I was trying my best to pay attention, but they wouldn't really focus on him. But I did notice that chunk of hair in the back. So I was like, um, is this like you holding on to the last bit of the hair that you have and you not trying to let it go? Or are is this some kind of new hairstyle that you're trying to work out? I, I was just wondering. Now... Suki has Tip come in because she's trying to bring Tip in on her, you know, team as well because, you know, she's trying to, like, get to the next level. But the thing is, the team that she's working with now, the things that they should be doing, she's doing. She's booking her studio time. She's booking her photo, photo shoots, and they're not doing that. And Tip was like, well, see, when I was your manager, I made sure, like, hey, you got to be in studio at this time. Hey, you got a photo shoot at this time. Like, that was her thing. And the people she's working with now are not really doing that. And the road manager is still on this, you know, she is a stripper. And Sydney's on, well, she's a, she's a mama, so she can't be going on a road with me. I was like, yeah, I mean, if she got kids and she can't go on a road, but she still can make a phone call like, hey, Sook, this tip. You in this city at this time doing whatever. You have um, a radio slot here at such and such radio station. I'm going to call you a few hours in advance so you have time to get up, get dressed, and be there. You have a photo shoot at, at, at a certain time. I'm going to make sure that A, B, and C are put into place so you can be there. Bill, he jumps in wondering how come they're not trying to get her Instagram back. And I'm like, sir, it's because from what Tip tells it, she told Sookie that OnlyFans was going to mess up her Instagram, and which it did because she was trying to intermingle the two. I don't have OnlyFans. I have an Instagram, and I ain't posted on there, and I don't know how long, but that's neither here nor there. I just be on there just scrolling and see what everybody's talking about, being nosy just a little bit. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to get back get that Instagram back, seeing as, seeing as how it seems like you violated some of the rules of Instagram. I don't know why he had that big old, that fur coat on. Y'all know I told y'all it looked like that red monster from the Looney Tunes. It's hot. And I, I've never been to Miami, but it looks like it's like on summer year-round to where you wouldn't need no fur coat. But I guess do you, Bill, do you? 
Let's move over to Trina. I we're what seven episodes in. I am tired of hearing about Trina's incompetent cat her um team. How many times are they gonna mess up before you realize I need to let them go? Or is this gonna be like another curtain Rashida incident where you keep on giving them chance and chance and then the last episode you fire them? It's Trina Day coming up in Miami. No venue, no sponsors, nothing. Things like this take, you know, months to get in. Okay, we got months to, you know, find a venue, get sponsors together, get all the things in place to have this event. It's a week out and they don't have any of these things. I'm wondering, is Trina just now asking about this? Because this isn't like the first, you know, Trina day. Trina Day, she she it became Trina Day in 2017. So that means y'all had 18 and 19 to get things together. We're going to skip 20 because, you know, that's when the Pandora happened. But 18 and 19, we had, had a Trina Day. So why is it when 2021 come along, y'all ain't got it? Well, y'all wasn't on the team then, so that makes a lot of more sense. Like... How come we weren't discussing this? Okay, you know Trina Day is coming up in a few months. We need to be getting things together. Nobody thought that? Okay. Amara's mama is overworking herself and not eating right. She's diabetic and she has high blood pressure. And she seems to be the one to take care of, like, landscaping in the house. And I'm like, outside, I'm like, what the daddy doing? So Amara takes her mama to the doctor. And she, like, tries to get rid of all the sweets in the house and all the breads. And, like, we need to start eating healthier. This is what we need to do. So Amara gets to the doctor. And she's like, I don't know if it's stress, but now her period late. I said, like, you could have went to the drugstore for that. But, hey, to each his own. Ace meets up with his mom and sister, and she's complaining because Sheila did not look her in the face at that Mother's Day brunch. I don't like to talk about people's mama, but she's like, I, I'm the mama. You need to respect me when I come in. You need to make eye contact with me when I come in. Rose petal needs to be thrown before my feet. That's the vibe that she's giving off. And she's going on about how basically she just don't be showing her no respect. And from what I got out of this, and I rewound it a few times, and I didn't do verbatim what A said, but it seems like what I got out of what he said is his mama showed up with a stank attitude. So she met her with that stank attitude. He knows Sheila's not just the person that's going to be going around here being stank for no reason. So if you come at me a certain way, I'm going to give you that same energy. Now, I may be wrong in the way I was like, I broke that down, but that's what I got out of it. But he also stay, understands that those is his mama's feelings, even though if he does not agree with him. I understand you saying that's how you feel. Okay, I just don't agree with it. The thing is, Blondie is not used to her kids expressing how they feel, the way she acts, and what she says. Because growing up, they weren't able to do that. You try to express yourself or say, Mama, well, I feel like this. I feel that you're doing this. Popped in the face. Popped in the lip. Get a whooping. So now, as they are grown, and Sheila is like telling a basically you, you need to express yourself more and now that he's doing that she don't know how to take it that's what i got she feels attacked because they are now expressing how they feel now yeah i don't know how i feel about amar and her daddy situation now she pulls her dad to the side and says, like, look here 
first mama up cleaning around, up in the house cleaning because that's what she do. She don't want to, she don't want no dirty house. But she's like, Mom, you need to sit down and you need to rest. Pulls daddy to the side, like, look her. Went to the doctor, you know, mama's sick and all that stuff. She had diabetes and high blood pressure and she ain't been eating right. We all need to do better. But I'm going to need you to chip in a little bit more to help out around the house. You know, cut the grass, you know, sweep a floor, you know, something. And this is when the dad's like, well, yeah, I'm going back to the DR. I got me a little place there that I want to, you know, go on back there and live. And it seemed like two things, like, I ain't come here to clean up. I came here to get taken care of. I can go back to the DR and live the way I want to live. That was one way I felt. And then it was also, yeah, I ain't folded. I came down here. You helped me when I was going through my, um, you know, needing my treatment. You paid for it. You gave me a place to stay. Now that I'm better, I don't need to be here no more. Am I the only one that felt like that? Because that's the way it was coming across to me from her daddy. And she's looking like, wow, like, really? I helped you, you know, get your treatment. I paid for your treatment, gave you a place to stay, been helping you out. And the moment I asked for some help or something, you need to go back to the DR. Okay, daddy. Sookie and Bill get into it, and they cussing each other clean out. And I was like, see, Sookie, this is the reason why your mama said that you don't need to be getting pregnant at this moment in the time. The security, they was hauling tail trying to get to that car while these two was cussing each other out. So I don't know if they's going to make it or not, but, but looking by next week's episode, which I really don't like doing, I don't think Sookie and Bill going to make it. I don't. So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If. Nope.